<laughs> Woo. Uh, there was a three year period. Wait. This is why I say you're a dry snitch right here, bro. This I is said, why you are a dry said, snitch. I was this is exactly why you're a dry this snitch. You didn't give no countdown. I said three, you two, one. You just hit the button when I'm all snitching on myself. First off, you better be quiet. This is why you it. are a dry snitch, bro. Right here. What did I dry snitch on? You know what you... That's why your glasses are all, all muffled. You know what's going on. You are eager to hit that record button. Stop talking over the bridge. I'm over it. We really came into Lil Nas like all the rest of Corny Sports Talk Radio. But it's cornier if you go out on Lil Nas. Yeah, you know what it is. Thursday night, touchdowns and tangents, live from the Good News Radio Station. I'm Pete D. Camarillo. I'm Kenneth Frank James Berry. And of course, we have intern serve, as you called her last week. Hello. Which was fucked up, by the way. What am I supposed to say? Like, you could say this is Serve, who is our intern. Intern, intern Serve. <laughs> She's serving you turns. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Shout out to Good News Radio Station. Check us out. Live. X Squad Affiliates. The Good News Sports Show next week. Live from, what's the bar called again? I can't even pronounce it. You really, it's an Irish bar on the corner of Sepulveda and Washington. You have the audacity. It's right next to a ramen spot. Ooh, that sounds good. I love noodles. We'll be on live from 8 to eight to 9.30. Courtside will be warming up for us. The JV squad, 6.30 to 8. You no, know, Steve Harvey, Tar Bernie Mac, Kings of Comedy. You know how it goes. <laughs> they'll, they'll be opening up. Lie and say Bernie Mac wasn't funnier than <laughs> Steve, Steve Harvey. I dare you and say that he wasn't funnier. Oh, and hey, by the way, it's also my birthday, so turn up for that. Wow, we got no sound effects this week, huh? But yeah, point is, are you really a real friend if you can't even come to my podcast when it's also my birthday celebration? That's the like, real question. I'm like, dating some friends. Like I'm using my birthday as leverage. Come out and support my podcast. That's nasty. <laughs> that is nasty <laughs> leverage. <laughs> Chasing mean, clout. I've never had to do that at a birthday party. My friends just came out. But <laughs> apparently Pete has other ideas. Pete has Uh actually it's more of the reverse. My podcast needs some love. But shout out to you guys, man. You held it down last week. Did your thing. I was, of course, somewhere. On a business I, trip? I was on Pluto. <laughs> now nah, I was at Coachella. Shout out shout out to Coachella. Year, my third term. This one was my jersey retirement. I'm done. Wow, your jersey retirement. Interesting. I'm done, man. Shit's too many cloud chasers now, even for me. It's per- so, You know it's bad when me, the cloud chaser, is saying that I'm tired of cloud chasers. So it was the cloud chasers, cloud chasers ball, the cloud chasers Olympics? I was telling people this, and it's like, I think it's because this year was the first year they had preferred parking. So usually, like, it's first come, first serve. Like, the people who get there first get the best camping spots. But this year they had, like, a whole lot reserved. So I feel like that just invited a whole new audience of people who are, like, entitled and, like, want, you know, exclusivity. And, like, you could just kind of feel that vibe throughout the crowd. So I thought it's always been like that, though. Yeah, to an extent, but it's, like, it's different when those people are, like, in Airbnbs and, like, in VIP mm-hmm. and, like, uh, but, like, they kind of created, like, this half ass tier where it's, like, it's not, like, the real, like, rich people but it's just like people who want to feel like they're getting a little bit more than everyone else because they always had like you had your regular ticket and then you had your vip ticket where you had your what is it like a canopy or like a yeah yeah some show okay and then so now they have a little in between where they're like oh you may not you're a you're still a con no you're still a commoner it's still a regular Mm -hmm. ticket but now and it's not even like uh, uh, upgraded campsite. It's literally the same campsite, but you just get that first right because you paid like five times as much. So it's like really, really just inviting you to like feel like you're just a little bit better. Mm-hmm. 
even though you're really not. Because realistically, I mean, like, the real rich people are not going to camp. They're going to get a fucking hotel room and stuff like that. I feel like a lot of these music festivals have become that way, though, in general. Yeah, Where it's like, now it's like this, you're elitist, like, oh, I'm able to buy this ticket and flex. And it's like, you're not even really there to enjoy the actual experience. Exactly, yeah. And that's that's why I'm, I'm getting over it, because it's like... I do actually go there for the experience. Like I like to walk around and look at the art and the fashion and like the little the little goods that they sell and like the little vendors and like experience the food and like but it's like when all those people are there and they're all grouchy and fucking like bro, everyone there is tired. Everyone there has dust all over them. Everyone is trying to get out of the crowd like stop being a bitch about it. Like we're we're all in the same exact boat about it as you. But it's like just those 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 white people who think they're just a little bit better than even regular white people just make it way worse. But yeah, man, YG was lit. Honestly, he was really going through some shit. Like that was like borderline like Kanye at the Grammy shit. Like he was really going through some shit. You could tell he was really impacted by Nipsey. He should have been drinking tequila like every day since he found out. Yeah, he was like the only reason why I'm up here is because tequila. Yeah. He kept just saying that. He just kept plugging tequila. He brought out Tiger. He brought out Chains. He brought out Big Sean, Bruh. which was dope because, as we all know, Big Sean is my favorite artist. So it was good to see him even for a song. Bruh. Yeah, but not when Kendrick is around. <laughs> and Kid Cudi, like, he started off playing all his Indicut and Satellite Flight. He cleared out the crowd a little bit. And then he started playing his bangers. When everybody's high. Yeah, pretty much, but it was good for us because we got to move up. So we were up, we were up like up, up like second row. So it was pretty dope. Those were probably my two highlights. Interesting low lights. <sighs> my allergies coming back, and no, I did not snort anything, Kenny. Before you try try to dry snitch, I didn't say anything. <laughs> How can you accuse me of dry snitching when you just dry snitched on yourself? I didn't. I don't just- do that. And I did not do that, but yeah, I came back. My nose is all bloody, like every night, pretty much. Like I have really bad allergies, especially this year because it's been like really actually green. So there's a lot of pollen out there in these streets. So shout out to Wu in the chat room who said, "Are you really a friend when you don't reply to texts about when and where your event is?" Oh. Uh... Now Wu's dry snitching on me, huh? Is this the dry? Is this the the roast of Pete the week before his birthday podcast? Special? The dry, the dry roasting of Pete Camarillo. Wu, a, a snitch's tale. The only reason why I didn't reply is because we literally did not know where it was until today. Like we literally just found out. So let's pump the brakes, man. My bad. Bruh. I'm sorry. There you go. On the record. With that said. How was your guys this week? Sorry, if you want to go first? Sure. Oh, my God, bro. Are you not a professional? You don't know how to just talk? Well, all I said was, sir, if you want to go first. <laughs> go. Like, damn. No, I, there's really no highlight. Um, just same old, same old, you know, just smoke up and, you know, watch Game of Thrones. I think Loki, that was my highlight. Even though I fell asleep on it the night before because I was really tired from working all weekend. But you can't hear, but I hit the boo button. Yeah, this okay. is not a Game like, of Thrones. I, I would, I guys. would like fix the volume the way I know how to fix it. Why? So but then it would go deaf Thrones? silent for like ten seconds. I feel like Game of Thrones is for everyone who missed out on Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings in middle school. Um, first of all, <laughs> first off, don't let me go down. Bran is a real nigga. That's all I got to say. It he is, kept the same energy. It is way better than Harry Potter. Threw me out a window, homie, and all I did yeah. was just stare at you, and you shook. He shook his He was like, I thought I killed you first, and then no. And then they brought somebody to kill him, if you remember. Way back, vaguely. I only. Yeah, like, my brother was even tripping. He was like, "I forgot about that." I was like, "Yeah, he, he thought that he killed him. He came back. Was like, yeah, nigga, I'm still here." And so <laughs> Shout out to Wu. He said, I, "I'll still be there, though." That's what's up. He's a real one with the Cowboys jersey. On. Yeah, but he'll show up even without my birthday because that's my boy. Shout out to him. Who's a real one? But yeah, and you, Kenny. 
man, it was a really emotional start to my week. Um, I quit my job at GMOs. Hey. We're clapping until you can't. Yeah. Until you can't afford re- that twenty dollar bar tab in two weeks. Excuse you. <laughs> I can pay it at midnight, <laughs> bitch. All right, so I guess the next one's on you too. Then you owe me at least like five <laughs> next ones, bro. Like, Woo. but anyway. Um. Yeah. After two and a half, years you owe me about a hundred Uber rides, but it's all good. Hey, hey. <laughs> we've looked out for each other. Have we not? Have we not looked out for each other since we've known each other? Oh, okay. Okay uh, then. I, I love. I love. I love that guy who's like, no, I was just playing. We're all good. After you're like, yeah, you really owe me though. Oh, <laughs> what's good? I mean, we could take this energy back to the beginning of the show. <laughs> we're talking about dry snitching. <laughs> we can have an open air. We can have an open air discussion. I mean, I'm, the first segment of the show is what it is. <laughs> is it not? Is that the new, the the new uh, branding? Yeah, open forum. Open dry snitching. <laughs> Who got shit to dry snitch on this week? This is a, t- it's a locker room meeting, is it not? <laughs> what happens in the locker room stays in the locker room. It just happens to get leaked to the public. But at least we're the ones doing the leaking. Sorry for like, I ain't saying shit. All right, man. Got of ops. But no, nah, like, quit my job. Um, Like, bought my ticket for Black Grad. And officially, like, 27 days away from graduation. Like, it's it's weird. It's like that deserves a round of applause. You know. Yeah, we can hear it, but the audience appreciates it. I don't think they can hear you. To be honest, I'm pretty sure they can. Now, see how there's no, there's nothing on the bars when you play just the sound. Let's try that again. Thanks, Keith. By the way, audience, can y'all actually hear these sound effects? I'm going to just play a random sound effect. Bro, I'm telling you, there's no sound bars on the bottom. Which is kind of ridiculous. I don't know how to come out and fix it. But hey, whatever. So, um. Make sure the computer's not muted. No, because we got the YouTube sound. So that shouldn't be. That's what I'm whatever, talking. man. It doesn't matter. All right, so let's get to the content. Oh, but no, um, yeah, great week. Uh, looking forward to getting paid this week and next week. And when you're going to quit your job, you quit the week you're going to get paid, but like two days before you get paid. It's just smart money. So now I won't feel bad when I piss all this money away this weekend. <clears throat> oh, they hear it. Shout out to Keith. Thanks. But anyway, proceed. I'm going to save my mom. Yeah, exactly, bro. How are you going to say but anyway but not have a transition and then throw it back to me? Uh, Because that's kind of how like, <laughs> yeah. the first 20 minutes of this yeah. is gone. Like you weren't here last week. <laughs> and this is like the longest conversation we've had without ins- not insulting each other. No, it's we've definitely it. insulted each other. No, no, no. Not like how you, you it, guys usually do. Yeah, it doesn't really count From as my insult. Past few experiences here and watching you guys. It's because we had a beer. We already got all the, all the the violent shit out. Mostly you. <laughs> Mostly you. I I just withhold on. I withhold on my rage for when I need it to be petty. All right, man. So let's start off with the news that everyone has been fucking blowing a storm about you because there's no content. Cussing. You cussed all last week when I wasn't here. Did I? Yeah. I listened to all. One hour and 59 minutes of your po- podcast last week, and I counted the curse words. Who had more? Nah, I'm just playing. I didn't count the fucking curse words. Bro, you, you're a high at Coachella. Be quiet. You were nah, dying just, of I dehydration listen. and euphoria at Coachella. Yeah, so let's talk about the NFL schedule. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> you notice that? He just skipped over it? All right. It's released. Bruh. Dropped. Everyone has not let you forgotten it. The Saints. Everyone's talking about how the Raiders got snuffed, the Chargers got snuffed, the Rams got snuffed, which was actually funny because on the way here, they had Albert Breer from SI on 710, and he was like, oh, I actually haven't taken a deep dive into any of those three teams. You know what he was talking about? 
the Packers, the Saints, and the Giants. And I was like, 